Good evening, and thank you for watching KREX News at 10. I'm Jillian McCarthy. Ivan has the weekend off. A deadly heat wave impacting more than two-thirds of the U.S. is reaching its peak this weekend. Today, cities are under heat warnings and advisories and are expected to see some of the hottest air of the season. Britt Conway has a closer look at the precautions in place to prevent any more deaths. Intense heat with deadly consequences. From New Mexico to New England, nearly 200 million people are sweating it out. Disgustingly Five. hot. I'm oh. melting. I'm getting too old for this heat. As a potentially record breaking heat wave grips much of the country this weekend. In New York, major events are being canceled, including the triathlon and Aussie music festival, along with the horse races in Saratoga. In Oklahoma, roads are buckling from the heat. Officials are urging people to take the warnings seriously. Stay indoors and stay hydrated. Look out for the elderly. Look out for young people. They are the most vulnerable. On Saturday in New York City, it could feel like a boiling 115 degrees. 500 cooling centers are now open, and officials have declared a heat emergency. And that same system creating the heat wave and humidity is prompting the threat of tornadoes across parts of the Midwest. There was stuff flying everywhere, trash flying, things flying, people running every which way. In Michigan, where the heat index could hit 110 degrees, thousands were left without power after thunderstorms toppled trees, which brought down power lines. I'm Britt Conway reporting. Well, temperatures are heating up all around the nation. And Star, what are some steps people can take to stay safe in this heat? Yes, Jillian. So our temperatures here are just shy of triple digits. So I recommend if you can, stay indoors because things are definitely heating up here. And if you're going to be outdoors, just making sure you have on lots of sunscreen and making sure you're staying hydrated. And if you have pets, making sure you're not leaving them in the cars and just pretty much taking this heat wave very seriously. Yes, very important steps. Thank you so much, Sar. You're welcome.